hello welcome all welcome in another important video i hope you all are doing great and in this video we are learning about electron deep links but before we start learning about electron deep links let's try to understand what is protocol because entire concept of electron deep links is dependent on protocol concept itself so as per the definition protocol is an official set of procedures for what action to take in a certain situation so in a simple words we can say protocol is nothing but set of instructions or set of rules that we all need to follow at certain place so we follow many such protocols in our day to day life if you are traveling you follow the signals that is nothing but you are following the protocol set by the government so in our day to day life we follow many such protocols so let's take one real life example let's say if you want to order some food you will go to the hotel you will pay for your order hotel will give you some token and you will use that token in order to receive that order and these are nothing but the rules defined by this particular hotel and we can call it as it is a protocol of this particular hotel and this particular protocol could be different for different hotels depends on which type of services which type of experience they are trying to provide to the customers so similarly in a computer world as well we follow multiple protocols similarly in computer world as well we use multiple protocols so so here is the list of some common protocols that we use in our day to day life so tcp is nothing but transmission control protocol we use this in order to transfer our data from one end to another end in encrypted format then there is a dns protocol ftp protocol http https is one of the common protocols that we use in our day to day life So now we know what is protocol better. Now let's try to understand what is deep links. So electron provide a feature where we can create a where we can define our own protocol in our computer. So whenever someone wants to launch our application from the browser, he can do so. So as you can see, this is the customized protocol. We are free to use any name for the protocol unless and until it is being used for some other processes. So always be mindful. about name that you are putting as your protocol handler because you might find some difficulties so always try to use some unique name for your protocol handler so just to give you one real life example you might have used zoom application which is a video conferencing application and if you log in zoom through a web browser and if you try to join any meeting it will prompt you such type of pop up and that is nothing but the protocol handler or deep links So if Zoom application is already installed in the computer it register when protocol and when we try to launch the application it it automatically check for that particular protocol if the protocol is available in the PC it will prompt you this message you have two options to do either you can cancel that pop up or you can open Zoom application similarly in this video we will try to register our own custom protocol handler and we will try to launch our application from web browser So let's quickly try to do it. So let's open our code. So this is our code and inside of app dot on ready we need to use app app dot set default protocol client. So this is the so this is the method that we use in order that we use to register our protocol. So as you can see here they have also given some instructions regarding how it will work and what you have to put so here i will put one random name let's say jhm course that's it let me save this and we will need to create new build to register our protocol so let's quickly do it to create a build we have already we already saw how to create a build so i have to use this command to create a build so let me quickly run it okay it will take some time meanwhile i'll create one html file which will help us to which will help us to launch our application from the browser so let me add one html file here let's say demo.html and inside of it let's quickly add launch app right and as a url we need to put 
the name of protocol we have used so let me put that here and just use a semicolon just use semicolon and forward slash and that's pretty much all we need to do let me quickly copy this path and let's go inside the browser and keep it open so now if I try to launch the application you can see it's not doing anything let's wait until this build command finish and then we will try to click one more time all right so our build process is complete let's install this application now all right so now application is installed successfully now let's try to click on the link which we have now let's try to click on this link so as you can see we got the same pop-up which we saw in case of zoom application so this is how we can launch our application from browser with custom protocol handler so i think that's it for this video thank you very much for watching see you in the next video bye